What's up, Aquarius? This is Soul from Intuitive uh, Tarot here to do uh, your messages for the week starting September 9th, 2024. Aquarius, I hope all is well. This week I'm using the AE Weight Tarot to deliver your messages, not reading any uh, reversals. Just going to shuffle the energies real good after doing Capricorn's messages, and then we'll start with your messages. Messages for my Aquas this week. What's going on for Aquarius? The most misunderstood sign, right? <laughs> Energies for a qu oh, cards keep flipping over, but they're not turning over. So I'm just putting them back into the deck here. Energies for Aquarius. I don't want to do the other type of shuffle because these cards, you know, bending them seems like they uh, form creases and that's not good. So it's a real stiff card stock, but it's still not good when they're creasing. Anyway. Then they'll have a tendency later on to uh, just break apart. All right, here we go, Aquarius. Your first card in energy. We're going to start with the Two of Pentacles. So you're juggling something this week, possibly. It's only on a minor scale. Some of you bit, you know, interested in, in um, well, you could be doing two things, right? Still could be a small pay raise coming in for some aquas. Okay. Or the most simplest thing that ever comes out of the two of pentacles that you may just be trying to balance your checkbooks. All right. So don't worry about the, you know, minor juggling here. I think that you'll be able to manage whatever that may be. On top of that is the page. Okay. Maybe it's relationships. Okay. There's two, could be two people going on here that you're interested in. Well, the page of cups is about those relationships, um, you know, romantic and also platonic. But he holds the chalice with the fish in it. So it could be that there's some sort of pregnancy news surrounding you, uh, Aquarius, um, this week. Or there's some sort of form of childbirth. Uh, could be definitely a job offer. Maybe there's two job offers that is, you know, coming up for Aquarius this week. That's a possibility. Also, to the uh, page of cups, not only has the tendency to formulate new platonic friendships and romantic partnerships, it also could be read as the uh, Aquarius who may have already entered into a relationship, but that relationship is fresh, still new, and it's less than 30 days old. After the Page of Cups, now we have the Father of Love, the King of Cups, okay? Nurturing, caring, supportive. Definitely pay attention to your intuition this week. He's here to help guide you. Those inner voices and those gut feelings that you get, you always have to go with those uh, Aquarius. Never second guess yourself. It's always the correct answer when you get that hit the first time. Um, this could represent male energies, of course, an older male. It could be, um, you know, um, your husband, your boyfriend, your father, your grandfather, and so forth. These are the type of energies that usually comes through the King of Cups, especially uh, there's some sort of achievement or establishment of, you know, receiving emotional you know, the connections, emotional happiness, satisfaction, and contentment based on those um, relationships that you are currently connected to or have the potential of connecting to. So that could be your family, romantic partners, there's definitely friends. I'll throw in coworkers since we already got the two of pentacles as well. So um, very good card to receive. And so far, let's keep this energy up for Aquarius. Now we have the eight of swords. All right. So this is your own energy that comes through. Uh, blindfolded and feeling like you're trapped. Well, you're not Aquarius <laughs> unless you don't fall into that trap of, uh, you know, putting or filling your head up with unnecessary, you know, uh, energies. I oftentimes read this eight of swords is that you, when it comes to decision making, that you feel like you're being pulled in several different directions, that there's so many things that you need to, uh, you know, uh, decide on. And then you just may feel nervous or anxious or, you know, um, feeling, you know, some sort of form of fear or uncertainty or doubts, possibly not sleeping well, like you should. Um, if it is something that is expressed towards you and you're dealing with that, of course, deal with it. You don't want this energy to, um, you know, the gun to go untested because then it may lead to the nine of swords energy, which is much worse. I also get the, um, there could be a break in communication with family members, friends, or romantic partners with the Eight of Swords. Also, too, you have to be careful because this is one of my trick cards. Whereas if you are um, definitely infiltrating your mind with unnecessary stuff, like I mentioned before, worried about something 
uh, specific, or it could be someone or a situation, feeling fearful about that, uncertain about that, um, and it has not even crossed your path or may not ever come to pass. So don't play with unnecessary, more or less this is shy of the overthinking and the nine of swords, okay? So you could be building up some sort of uh, overthinking about a situation, person, or event, all right? So just be careful here. On top of that eight of swords, now you have the moon. The moon is uh, about revelations, things being illuminated, secrets, likes, and crushes may come forward if it's involving romance. Uh, definitely like the uh, king of cups when it comes to your intuition, but in a greater instance, pay attention to your intuition. The moon is definitely here to help guide you to make the right decisions and choices moving forward. Also, the uh, cycle of energy, some cycle of energy is moving away from you, closing them. Yeah, moving away, a new cycle is about to begin. We want to make sure that we are, you know, when it comes to our own emotional um, energies here, Aquarius, that we're not being tricked up. And it's so funny, too, because these are the two cards here that I always say could be tricky. The moon and the eight of swords. The moon can be tricky in the um, instance that... Um, the moon is very fluid, so when it comes to our emotions, it can send our emotions up too high or it can send us down too low, which is sort of like melancholy, depression. We don't want that. We want to maintain a balance in the middle. All right, so that's what we have with the moon. And anything that was hidden um, from you before in terms of revelations may uh, come to the light. There's a greater uh, depth of feelings uh, that could come on to you. Um, Definitely the love, dedication, devotion that could come from family members, friends, romantic partners. It comes right after the King of Cups, which is, you know, he's all about relationships. So it could be what you extend out to others or what's going to come to you. Following the Major Arcana of the Moon, now we have the Major Arcana of the higher font. So definitely, um, this seems like it's going to be an extraordinary week for my... Um, Aqua friends, okay? You're spiritually watched over, protected, teaching and learning. Pay attention to spiritual uh, energies. You may be spiritually enlightened. Uh, epiphanies may occur. I always talk about angelic numbers that may be uh, seen repetitively. So, you know, for instance, 1111, 111, any uh, numbers and trips, fours, twos, ones, it doesn't matter. Those are angelic numbers, especially if you see them repeatedly. They are trying to grab your attention to let you know there's a message that they want you to be aware of. And if you have the time and you see these numbers on a repetitive, um, you know, instance, then look them up, you know, just to see what that message is all about. And it could just indicate where you are, if you're on the right track in your life or something else that's going on. Uh, someone still could be getting married and I always talk about um, there could be a uh, on the job training for somebody. Then we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, she's focused on something or someone normally going after that energy. So you're attracting energy towards you. Right. Um, the Queen is always about uh, a great deal of intensity uh, in all matters and, you know, passion could be not just, you know, related to relationships and, and you know, uh, sex and all that other stuff. It could be, you know, anything creative. She, you know, she would send that energy into those aquas um, who are trying to be creative uh, and, you know, inspire them a little bit more in terms of helping them out with their creativity. So that is the Queen of Wands. Very passionate. Now the father of the wands, the king of wands, sits on top of the queen. Same energy. Same energy. Now, the queen and the king of wands mirrors that two of pentacles and the page of cups. Like I said before, with the onset of the page of cups sitting on top of the two of pentacles. For some Aquarius out there, there may be a choice when it comes to um, an interest of romance or there's two people going on here you know basically two people now they may not be fire signs aries leo or sagittarius but there's two people of interest here and again you have to take note of the card that sits in the middle which is the major arcana of the moon the greater devotion dedication love being 
uh, expressed or, you know, poured. Someone could be coming forward in terms of expressing themselves, um, you know, from a like or a crush type of energy. You have three people. Okay, the king and the queen mirrors the page of cups and the two of pentacles. So there's two instances of something. I think it's two people, though. And then we have the father of cups in the middle. Well, he's not in the middle, but he's coming right after that page of cups. So that's an interesting spread there. And so like the queen, he's focused on something or someone normally going after whatever it is that he's focused on. He deals with a great deal of uh, intensity, passion. Outwardly, he could be expressing himself sexually and so forth. Then we have the Six of Wands. Victory, yeah, victory and success. You can attach that victory and success to anything that's going on in your life, Aquarius, this week. <laughs> okay? So it could be attached to these, you know, uh, messages that I have already given you, or it could be attached to something else. Um, there may be some sort of traveling involved for some Aquarius this week, whether it's vacationing or just work-related matters. You're safe to and from. Also, the Six of Wands is... Um, Again, something positive that's moving towards you. So whatever that energy may be. Hey, look at that. Ace of Wands follows the Six of Wands. So, Vic, yeah, Ace of Wands is always the card of initiation. The, the beginning stages of passions it sits underneath the King of Cups. So, again, it still could be for some aquas out there when it comes to relationships. Um there could be an element of some sort of good news that comes in to put a smile on your face. And there could be, uh, you know, also um, any interest or creative pursuits or hobbies. That's the Ace of Wands. Wow. Then we have the Major Arcana, the Fool, Aquarius. Okay, take that leap of faith. Step out there into the unknown in terms of whatever it is that you want to do. The universe is there to support you. Just leave the fear and the hesitation and trepidation behind you. And just go for it. Now, some of you may already you know, have something lined up or planned to do. Um, this is just me, but I see that it could be that someone steps into a whole new relationship or about to step into a new relationship. You're taking a chance. You, you know, you're putting your... Uh, fears behind you, you know, that could be anything wrapped up with the Eight of Swords. Um, and it's an aspect of a new beginning. Now, for the Aquas that don't have anything planned or lined up, there's still something that's about to occur as well <laughs> as far as a new beginning uh, happening or occurring for you this, this week. Okay, that's the potential. And then we have the Devil. Okay, so this is the Devil, Major Arcana. Wow, you got the moon, the higher font, the devil, and the fool. The devil is always having to uh, make some sort of assessments here, Aquarius. When it comes to bad habits, those are your personal bad habits that need changing or that you want to modify that may be problematic for you. It could be toxic relationships, those people that you're connected to, that which could still be romantic partners, family members, friends, or coworkers. Uh, feeling like you're, um, you know, chained or bound to a situation, person, or event. It could involve being obsessed over a relationship or obsession taking place in some other areas. As of late, I've been using the devil as, well, the FWB in reference to the devil as an analogy to what the devil is capable of doing or achieving. So when I talk about FWBs, it's the situation where two people get together and they just have, you know, sex, great sex or whatever. The problem with that is it's still an unhealthy situation, even though, you know, it's more convenient uh, at the time for people, but it prevents you really from developing healthier relationships where you don't have to just, you know, rely on the physical aspect. You'll get the physical, the emotional, mental, all of that stuff wrapped up into a healthier relationship. When it comes to addictions, uh, it may not be your addictions. It may be uh, the people that you're connected to. Again, family members, friends, romantic partners, drinking, smoking, gambling. I always throw in, it could be an excess when it comes to pornography or an excess when it comes to, you know, working too much and then other areas of your life are suffering, you know, or your platonic friendships, romantic partnerships, could be anything going on with the family. Remember the devil cast out the energy of illusion, creates this whole um, fakery, 
you know, to make you believe that what you're dealing with is something that is real and it really isn't. OK, so don't get caught up. Also, um, unrequited love comes into play with the devil's energy, something that you're repeating that is um, unhealthy. OK, because the devil comes back into um, have you repeat doing and that could be a, you know, a thought process, you know, ruminating, ruminating thoughts, thinking about the same thing over and over again, can't seem to get rid of it. Like you're just continuously on that train and there's no, um, stop or end stop to that train. Just keep going. So you could be involved in that type of energy or it's something else that could be going on. But usually when the major arcana shows up here, there's an aspect that there is something that Aquarius is doing that is um, could be possibly unhealthy for you. And you need to break that chain, that mold of what's, you know, making you uh, repeat something that you're trying to, you know, possibly overcome. All right. Whatever that is. Then we have the major arcana, the Empress. Wow. OK, so this is a card. Definitely pay attention to the majors that are showing up here in your spread, because I always tell you guys they do carry a lot of weight. Now, the uh, presence of the Empress here just, you know, surrounding you like the Page of Cups pregnancy news, childbirth again. This is a card that I regard as uh, something growing, developing, expanding, something new happening. Uh, again, it could be Aquarius, you know, with this whole relationship thing that I see centered around these messages. Or it could be that, you know, you take in um, some sort of uh, responsibility and, uh, you know, taking care of your internal, external energies, whether it's um, exercising more, modifying your diet, taking care of your uh, inner beauty, external beauty, could be going to hairdresser appointments, nail salons for pedicures, manicures, just loving yourself, though. Feeling at peace with yourself, nurturing yourself, caring for yourself as well as caring for others. All right. Mother Nature just could be spending some time outdoors enjoying Mother Nature and God's beauty. On top of the Empress, now we have, oh, look at this shit. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so Aquarius, watch out. Aquarius has the uh, Fate and Destiny card, Wheel of Fortune. So this is a very good luck and fortunate week for some Aquarians. Let's hope that it is for all of us. <laughs> okay, big money card. Uh, so if you're the risk-taking uh, Aquarius that, of course, you know, likes to gamble, play the lottery. And I just, uh, I think the uh, Mega Millions is up to like $740 million. Could be more, could be less. Uh, if you're into that type of energy, just play responsibly. Um, fate and Destinies. Maybe out and about and, you know, something crosses your path. You're fated and dusting to either cross that path or it may be involving a person. Something, you know, very good that happens for you. Anything that was unfortunate for you may turn around and be in your favor once again with the will of fortune. Then we finish off with the eight of cups. This is actually pretty good, Aquarius, because I always talk about the eight of cups when the cups are lined up and the person is facing in the opposite direction. Okay. So that means that um, for many of you that I'm reading for, this is going to be a no drama week, plain, plainly enough. It just also means for me that uh, when it shows up in your spread, that maybe some of you have dealt with something on an emotional level, whether it was you personally or whether it was other people um, that you had to deal with on an emotional level, family members, friends, romantic partners, and so forth. Could be coworkers. I'll throw that energy in there as well. But this is a no drama week for Aquarius. Rightfully so, because you have all of these other positive uh, supportive cards going on here. But this is what I have for you this week, Aquarius. Uh, you know, as always, it's just me interpreting the cards. You guys take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. However, please like the video, share the video. Throw the comments in. I like to read the comments. You guys have a very safe week ahead. It looks like a week full of pleasantries. Okay. Come back to get more of these messages from me, Aquarius, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.